it is a shootout between Austin and Kiefer Austin. And young Kiefer Carlson could see this. He could see that Kyle was the glue that held the other side of the house together. He could rally. He could manipulate. And he could kiss ass better than any professional ass kisser in the history of Big Brother. But his mistake, his biggest mistake was trying to do Spicy V dirty. You do not mess with Spicy V. Day 21, Kiefer Carlson puts up Showtime, Rohan, and Kyle. I make it look like my target was Rohan because I put his ass on slop for the second week in a row, which was technically the third week because the week before we were on peanut butter and jellies. Mm -mm -mm. Still haven't had one. Rowan and Kyle go up day 21. Day 22. We have the don't blow your load. POV. Beth, Jensen, Austin, Kyle, and Rohan are all competing head to head in a desert setting dressed up as moles. Rohan comes out victorious, the first to sink 10 balls. Could you believe it? The story this kid's got. God, he is a player. He beats Jensen. He beats Bad Kyle and Austin. Austin were still the chance. She threw the competition. It's very obvious. Wow. Day 22. Day 23. Rohan pulls himself off of the block in glorious fashion, leaving his counterpart. Up on the block. Stu proud of him, thinking that this is best case scenario. Until the butcher, Kiefer Collison, that grim Kiefer, if you will, puts up Stu's girl. His second, potentially first favorite person in this house. And he comes to the realization that the HOH, who was Kiefer Collison, doesn't play. And he also thinks that Kiefer Carlson's HOH is being run by people he does not see when that is not the case. That is not the case. That was the plan by the HOH to make it look like other people were running my HOH. No more showtime, no more stew, and no more games. You're welcome, Canada. Ding dong, stew is gone. Day 27, the invisible HOH, 689 rocks fall to the gauntlet. Who? other 
than Spicy B. Victoria, potentially one of the greats of Big Brother Canada, wins the first ever Invisible H.O. He's aligned with Spicy B. Oh, a young Kiefer Carlson. He finds out this information in the OLG room. Kind of plays it off like she's playing. But in his head, in his head, he knew she was the Invisible HOH. And he kept it a secret. Because he's loyal. He's super. Or at least he wants people to think that he's loyal. Day 28. The Invisible HOH shows up. Oh, that was scary. Pops up on the screen. It wasn't day 28. It was day 30, because we had a day off. Day 30, we meet the invisible HOH. Nobody knows, everybody's speculating, but a young Kiefer Carlson knows who the invisible HOH is. It is the spiciest HOH of the season. The invisible HOH nominates on day 30. Austin and Brayden. Day 30. The duo goes up again. And hold it, we're not done with that day. Day 30. The player picks happen. The invisible HOH pulls a name. And what other name do they pull? They pull Victoria's name. Wow. <clears throat> what are the odds of that? Spicy B in the challenge to Sean, Rohan, Brayden, Austin, day 30, battling in a competition, a 3D puzzle, BB Can Condos. Yours truly was the host. Thank you. I think I did a pretty good job. Didn't have to dress too crazy. Wasn't too bad. Check it off the bucket list. Done. The winner, Vito Beast. Half a showtime himself, half man, half amazing, still can't cook eggs to save his life. Young Rohan, he is the winner. Now, Rohan's closest allies perceived in this house are Brayden and Austin. Does he use the veto? That scares everybody, but not me. Because I know who the invisible H.O. Power of veto ceremony directly the next day. It was day 29. So day 30 was the power of veto ceremony. The POV. I got my days mixed up. That's okay. Day 30, power of veto ceremony. Young Rohan has the whole house at his attention. Wondering, will he use the power of veto on young Austin or young Brayden. Everybody thinks that he's going to use it. Partially because I kept telling people that I think he's going to use it, even though I knew he wasn't. But I wanted people to pressure him into not using it. And that was my way of doing it, by not even pressuring him. I was planting seeds of doubt. <sighs> and that was a good move by me. Because he got so fed up with the question. And I think he knew it was a bad move. Rohan decides not to use the power of veto. Whew. What a move by Ro. What a move. Right move? Maybe not. Time will tell. But a good move for me. Nominations stay the same. No, I've actually grown to like Austin. So it is actually going to be kind of crappy to see her go. But hey, if it ain't me, what could I do? Day 31, 
Big Brother plays on our names, puts the have-nots through hell, and gave us a pretty damn good feast at the end. Was it worth it? No. Am I happy I'm off slot? Yes. Am I grateful to be here? Yes. Do I have my days down? Yes. Am I in a ton of different alliances? Yes. Do I know what I'm going to do? No. I have no idea what to do. Who to stay loyal to? Should I even win HOH? Does it make sense for me? I want to win them. I want to win everyone I can. But I would have to break hearts if I won HOH. Hearts would be broken. I would become a villain. I came in here depending on my social game. Not even thinking that I could potentially be a comp beast, even though I said I probably could. What do I do? Who do I trust? You? <laughs> yeah. I could trust you. But you have no idea what it's like in here. Everybody's going crazy. Me included. Day 32. Kiefer talks to himself for 45 minutes. What do I do? Who do I trust? Who do I stay loyal to? Whose heart do I break first? And how do you win? Because that's what I came here to do. I didn't just want to be one of the greatest Big Brother players ever. I wanted to be a winner. Bring it home for my people, for my family. You get one shot at Big Brother, and if you're not playing 24 hours a day, go home. This ain't for the week. This is hard work. I came here to dig deep. This is hard work. Am I the villain? Am I a villain? At this point, it doesn't even matter. Because in life, even villains are fighting for something. And right now, I just want to fight to be one of the greatest to ever do it. I'm on the road. I'm going to do it. I'm going to win this game. I'm going to win Big Brother Canada Season 9. I'm going to be one of the greatest Big Brother Canada players in the history of the game. Anything short of winning is a failure now. I've made it. Day 32, Kiefer promises a W. I like that. I got this. I can do this. I can win. I can win. Hard work. Hard work. Dig deep. 
on her work. Well, it's time to get back to work. I got a game to win. Are these bonus? Hard work. Yeah. A contingency. Does that have Tina and Terry as a contingency? Doesn't seem like the best plan, but who else do you have? Who else could keep Goaded? Who else could Rogo? Can't go to Vic. Can't go to Braden. They don't have each other. Hmm? They don't have each other. That's why. Who? Them. Ro, Tina, Tara, and Kate. Yeah. Tina, Tara is the best. Tina, Tara is the best thing for Ro, and he's the best thing for them. He can win stuff. They would love to latch onto him. He needs numbers. Honest. Yeah, I think people like ultimately look at us and just kind of hard. Yeah, I, do you feel? I think so too. Yeah, I think in this situation, like, if he had to, like, say it was like you and fucking Tina on the block, he would go to Tina. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I still hated what he did yesterday. Yeah, me too. So Not a fan of that. No. I'm not either. It worries me. And to be honest, like, what can we do about it besides just make a mental note of it at this point? Yeah. Yeah, seriously. We just gotta remember that. This game is already fucked enough that I don't want to put, like, even if I'm just joking enough, I'm not gonna put pr extra pressure on YouTube. You know what I mean? Yeah. And y'all need to be at 10 to 10 at all times. Um. Well, yeah, Roe, in my opinion, is a serious concern. Yeah, I agree. That has to be dealt with. I agree. I'd say that's my number one priority right now. Yeah. Way ahead of Tara. Oh, absolutely. If they see him go, they'll be terrified, too. I know. If she Ooh. goes and he stays, he's another chance to yeah, get more exactly. shit. Another yeah. chance. And higher odds. Do you put him in a veto, though? Huh? Do you put him in a veto? It sucks because it's like, yeah, he's won, but that's... Uh... Does that mean he wins the next one? I don't know. I'm like, no. Doesn't guarantee it. I'd hate to see him skate by. I know. On a video. I know. <laughs> he won't. Huh? Bro? Yeah. There's not a chance he will. Are you win another one? I don't think so, man. I'm in that shit. He's not beating me. But do you put him straight up? Because if you don't put him straight up, means you gotta put someone else up. Yeah. And who's that someone else, Braden? No, it's just more blood. For no reason. For no reason. I think you just put him up. Who takes Ro down? Besides Ro? I don't think anybody. Especially not next week. So this whole game, the veto is not going to be used? It was used. Oh, I guess only on yourself. <laughs> People won't use it on themselves. No, I'll get down. It'll get down to the point yeah, where... Yeah, I'll get down. One of you fuckers will be up and I'll have to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 
Yeah, I think he goes straight up. Yeah. Nominee. Our odds. We've got to take the numbers. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> we have to. The numbers haven't really fucked us yet. Right. It was literally only, it was only a week. One, two. It was only like the, the Latoya boat that we had, we were fucked for numbers. <laughs> yes and no, because both of our numbers were up there. Like both of our people are up there. Yeah. So. I guess not, but like we just had no control in that situation. That was yeah. the only time we had no control. None, but technically like, we still had the numbers to keep one of our people. Like our people would have come through. Oh, right. They just couldn't decide who they. Right, right, right. They just didn't vote with, with us. Right, right. But like, I didn't like that about Tina, and I'll always remember that. And when it comes down to I it. I'll always remember that too. Or at least it wasn't talked about. Yeah, it wasn't even really discussed. Like if it was like, this is what's best for the six or the five now, sure. Yeah, like her explanation was weak about why she didn't come to us. How could you not? Huh? So scared. Did you? Oh, I know. Well, I didn't know how you'd react. What would it matter? We didn't have the numbers to do anything. <laughs> exactly. And there was no conversation like before each week. Like, no one rushed upstairs. Like, okay, let's talk about this first. All right. Can we just chill downstairs. Yeah. Like they set us up. Yeah, they did. Oh yeah. And she was in on it. Yeah. And I will never forget that. If they, had, if they had the solid numbers, what could we have done? That's what I'm saying. So for you not to tell so me, it's like, just spitting in my us. face. Yeah. But it's okay. It's you fine. Know, she doesn't think I remember. Yeah, it's fine. She thinks we forgot about that. We're not going to pull an Oz. No, not at all. It would never be like that. it will be like, you'll know when you know. Yeah, exactly. You'll know I remembered when I tell you. Yeah, yeah. Did you notice that Vic uh, said that you yeah. got a message? Uh, again. Yeah. Again, again. No, like she doesn't even get to say that. She doesn't have a vote. Oh. She can probably shoot goodbye. H O H don't get goodbye messages. No, no, she'll get a goodbye message, but she said that she She's wanted saying, to do it when she votes. Oh yeah, Vic. sorry. Like I vote with Vic. Uh. You think she's still gonna go in there? Obviously. Yeah. She'll have to go in, but she just won't vote. I don't know what she's gonna do. She tried to be like, oh, they still want me to vote. I'm like, really, girl? So the other side's trying to get me to vote. Like, you don't have a vote. You don't have one. <laughs> Canada. I know you're the invisible age. <laughs> no, they're not. Anybody actually believes that? <laughs> She's just mind-fucking everybody. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna let her do her thing, man. Mind fucking scaring everyone. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> Let her do her thing. It's like it's such a funny strategy because it's in my mind it works. It did. It would be terrifying to put her up. Oh yeah. Everyone doing inside? Like a workout. No one's doing anything. Yeah, it wasn't sketchy in there. No. No one I went in there last. The way I feel like Vic is gonna win on Thursday too is actually hilarious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like her fourth age. I know. I know. <laughs> and she'll do all the grimy. Oh work. man. She'll get rid of everybody. <laughs> she'll <laughs> deal with everybody. <laughs> oh. She'll put Ro and Tara up. She's a say, savage. I don't care. She's a savage. But next time, if she's age away next week, don't sleep. I'm in that room all the time. Oh, I'm, I'm sleeping in there. Whatever happens. You should literally sleep in there. I would. <laughs> Not in the bed on the couch. Yeah, yeah. 
on the couch. I will be in there. <laughs> I think that would literally be best case for us because we could just be in there all the time and like that would what be. What happened last time? Yeah. Roman Kyle in the oh. That gave it still gives me chills. Right? I know. Like just picturing them all sitting on that couch. Yep. Still, uh. still gives me chills. But even for that image of like us three, me and you just always being in there, it, it creates it even more. Huge, big time. Yeah, we'll be all up in there. Yeah. That actually would be huge. I know. And then I could think of like what would say shit to me too. Yeah. Go fast, they leave you and stuff. You know? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Be there twenty four seven. That would be great. I one spicy people would always have to be in there. Like, I don't know what to do. Can you help me? Like, what do you think? Yeah. All the time. Oh, 100 percent Give me advice. Like, what'd you do on your HOH? I would oh. go, I would I would 100 percent go to her. Just to give her that control feeling. Yeah. Feeling of power. But she's also like really good that way and being like, it's your HOH, it's okay. Yeah. Sorry, what? She's very good for being like, it's your thing, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'd just like giving her the opportunity to give it give her opinion. She would like that. Yeah, you really have to gas her up. Yeah. To make her feel oh, like she loves it. You're the shit. That's why Latoya, like, Latoya thing was so bad, because Latoya will never gas you up like that. No. They could have never had a good relationship. No. We would have been up this week if Latoya was still here. Yeah, no. I know. We would have been up this week if Latoya was still here. 100%. I agree. It would have been, it wouldn't have been both of us, it would have been like Latoya and one of us. Yeah. Because we didn't pick her. Yeah. So you guys picked her over. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. She would. She would still target Latoya, but we would, we would be in the crossfire. Yeah, <laughs> like she'd we, make one of us sweat for yeah. it. Yeah. And potentially go home for it. so perfect that Austin and Bray threw under the bus last week and then she becomes Oh Michelle. man. How could it that's like really karma. It's karma. It's literally karma. <laughs> can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Does this game have karma written all over it? I guess it does. We literally haven't done anyone dirty yet. That's why we're not getting hit by it. <laughs> it seems like it does though. What? Have Carver written all over it. This game? Yeah. It does. You think about even Latoya. She didn't want to let the flip go. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want to give V a chance. And V became major wage. And she was the same one pressuring her for the last vote. And the same one that didn't want to give you a chance. Exactly. That was crazy. And then Kyle ambushed Keith after the thing? Yeah. Snip, snip. He was gone next. Austin thing under the bus. <laughs> she about to go home for that. Somebody about to go home next week for some shit they did this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ro probably did some dirty shit this week. <laughs> yeah, who? Ro. Oh, I know.
For me? You this conference could be going on right now. Yeah, I've been out here a minute. I'm gonna go take it. I'm gonna go poo and work out. So surprised no one's outside today. Something's up. Why would you guys would. not be outside? There might be a conference right now. Oh, nice. Maori. We'll, we'll investigate. We'll See if there is one. If, if there I wasn't invited, I have a vote, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just sit in. Bye. Just sit in on it. <laughs> yeah, just go join. What are we gonna do? Physically remove you? <laughs> just sit in every room with them? Yeah. Hey, we were just wondering who the invisible. Don't try that shit with me. <laughs> yeah, let's just, that talk's gone. <laughs> in the summer, cracking beers. Yes. <laughs> Just thinking that. Going in the water. Oh. Oh, so good. Nice rattler. <laughs> Grapefruit. Mm. Delicious. That is the best kind. Oh, yeah. At the J-Bar, I always used to get, like, I just get one of the lagers and then Put like grapefruit juice, splash of grapefruit, or yeah. splash of pineapple. Oh, so, I thought you were gonna say with the iceberg on it. Oh, I would get that too, actually, you're right. That's awesome. Yes, I actually just started trying that at the end. So good. Happy hour. Yeah. You tan or do you burn? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one first? I burn today, Which one first? Burn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't get bad burns. They go away very fast. Oh, that's good. <sighs> You've probably never had a sunburn in your life. Me? <laughs> Have you? Yeah. Your shoulders? Yeah. Not really. Not ever, like, bad, but a little redness, a little dry skin. You have Braden for sure, right? Oh yeah, dude. Big time. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Tomorrow's Wednesday? Yep. Yoga starch, coconut milk, uh, cilantro, some turmeric. Are they like, okay, keeper, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, fish sauce. What that? Basically what it sounds, it's just like <laughs> a fish oil. Loves it. I support whatever decision. Big brother, we need fish sauce too. Just to make like a Thai coconut curry. Sounds so good. It I would it would be really good. And if I got good. tapioca starch, it would be on a different level. Fuck me up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So happy to be off stop, yo. Me too. Really I was good. dancing eating that sandwich earlier. I was like, this is so much better. Because my slop bowl's still in there. Actually, I should just trash that right <gasps> now. Bye. while I'm doing nothing. Yeah. Although this was, the, to me, this was the way to eat the slop. Crispy bites. It was good. Yeah. Watch, they put us back on slop tomorrow and I just toss this. 
Dope of a ball to not have access to. Yeah, that's got to be one of my favorite things to cook is a uh, like a coconut curry. Oh my god, sounds so good. Like actually sounds so good. Topped with fresh cilantro and bean sprouts. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. I'm wet. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love how hot it is. It's like summer. Yeah, I had to come inside, I was getting burnt up. Right? Yo. Oh yeah, you got some redness. Yeah. It's gonna turn into a nice tan. Potentially. What they up to? Uh, they're getting changed after the showering up. I have no idea where they're balanced. Got it. Do you want a bite of this? You didn't even have any yesterday. No, I didn't. I will try a bite. I want to try the noodles. Yeah, help yourself. Hmm. Good, right? Yeah. They didn't, like, they, were, they got a good spot. Good job. <laughs> Jesus. I'm a bad girl. I am bad. <laughs> yeah, I feel so much better today than I did yesterday. Oh my yeah? God. Well, I just stuffed my face because I freaking... <laughs> you know how it is. You never know what's going to happen in this house. No, you don't. You might be off slot for one second. And they do you dirty. <laughs> yep. Oh, wow, I can't believe we were the butt of a fucking task. Yeah. Like a worst nightmare. <laughs> the worst one of all time. Like, I can't think of a worse one. <laughs> They're going to play that up so hard, us being so cheesed. You, when Beth's walking up the stairs and you're like, yo, fuck <laughs> you, Beth. That was like my favorite. <gasps> Why did I do Hey, you. You look thin. Thank you, she I'll take that. Because she don't eat. No, <laughs> literally, you need to eat. Oh my God. You wanna try this? What do you think I came down here to do? Okay, I wanna watch you eat every For bite. Sake. Take a bite, show me you eat. She won't. What is this? Okay. Parm, fettuccine. Oh, it's a fettuccine? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lot. I want a big noodle, I just want taste. <laughs> watch your bastards. You can't even pick it up for fuck's sake. Whoa. It's actually tasty. Right? Mm. Oh, your pasta? Yes, would you like to try? No, thank you. You're like, I'm <laughs> fucking done. <laughs> She's like, nope. Nick, get out of my face. <laughs> nope, nope, I'm good. <laughs> and start the kettle though first. Grab some tea. Have some midday tea. Still kind of hot. And I think I'm going to make a couple sandwiches. Mm. Yeah, I just sat me earlier. I should have made two. It was so good. What'd you put on it? Lettuce, tomatoes. Oh, we have lettuce on there? Yeah, in that small fridge there. It's like mixed spring lettuce. Oh, okay, that'll work. There's tomatoes, mayo, mustard, and then the cold cuts. That's, That's it. That's the best thing about this house. They always have like all ingredients. I never have this much. Bye. Nice for variety. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a chicken guy? What's going on? I was one. You have a chicken. Well, I'm trying not to eat. Oh. Okay, this is good. Ah. Ah. Get why the bananas are frozen with the skin on. 
Oh, I hate that. Yeah. I tried to, yeah, that's a nine. Somebody. Oh, yeah. Pain the ass to peel, it? too. Like, I think so. I don't know. I might melt in there. I have no idea. I've never put a banana in the microwave. But yeah, like, I did the other day for, like, a short amount of time because of this exact reason. I was like, uh, fuck. Like, what? I don't know where that picture goes. Ooh. Baby. You just like slice it up, throw in a little baggie. Yeah, that's smart. I never even thought of that. I wouldn't even. I, that's like. Okay. 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 Wow, we're coming out to season twenty, eh? Woo. Of keeping up. Oh yeah, the final season. I'm probably gonna watch that before our season. <laughs> What's that? Keeping up with the K's. Oh. They're the final season. But since there's been no ball. Mm -hmm. You've been home. Yeah, I've been home. How far is your work from home? Far or close? Close. Close, close? Like from the bathroom to the backyard. Come on. Yeah. What do you mean? It's close. It's like, I don't know. It's like a three minute walk away. That's lit. It's crazy. I know. It was like one of the reasons why I shacked up with my old lady. I was like, I was like, oh, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Like, I can't come over. And she's like, Oh, your work's like literally right beside my house. I'm like, What? She's like, Yeah. She's like, I live across the street from where you work. I'm like, No, you don't. She's like, I do. Come check it out. I was like, Okay, let's fucking go. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Will you much. Have my children. Pretty much. And she did. <laughs> well, we're not married yet. Literally. Common law things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely get half her shit if we ever split. Is that how it works? I don't know. I just always joke because she's got more stuff than I do. I have so much shit. <laughs> you done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, Paul. I want to try this chicken. Mm hmm Lanko crusted. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That was a good choice. It's a colorful tat. I love it. Hmm? Yeah, I didn't love know you tat. tatted it up down there. Oh, yeah, thank you. I gotta, I gotta get it kind of re, redone. I love colorful tats, like love. Like seeing that makes me want to get my eye tat in color. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was gonna do the black and I'm like. No, I'm gonna get mine not in color. Just feel, yeah, you're, you're. Yeah. Water. Yeah. I'm definitely getting it. Oh yeah. I have to. I was thinking about getting like three in a row, like on my tramp stamp, I'm doing like the eye, oh. a heart with my boyfriend's initials, no. I love, and then a little face of my dog. Oh! Do you get it? So it's like, I love Astro, but it's also like Big Brother, Matt, dog, like you know? Yeah, that's so dope. That's cool. That's dope. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like love that. these reactions, loving this. Yeah, no. Obviously, I put a little thought into this. Yeah, yeah it's got a, that's got a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll tap my dogs. No, I love my dogs so much. Yeah. Like, so much. He's my shadow. Yeah. My dogs, too. I hope he's okay without me. Like, I know he is, but it's like, ugh. I hope he's probably Ooh. wondering where the hell I am, what happened to me. My, uh, yeah. The thought of that breaks my heart every time. Can't even think about it. Too. I know. Sorry. This I would not want <laughs> other people talking about this. <sighs> mm -hmm. True. Yeah. So when are you getting your tattoo? I'm gonna get it right when I get out of here. I'm getting mine as soon as I yeah. can. Yeah. I would love to get it with something. Well, no, I'm getting mine as soon as you. I know, you gotta send out the graphics. It's, it's all on you. Send out the de de design. Uh huh. I'm hoping like some people in my area will go with it. Like maybe like Jed and Ty or like. Oh, Austin. that would be dope. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to go with a little group if possible. That would be dope. Yeah. I'll, I'll do mine Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll FaceTime y'all when I'm getting mine. Oh, I think I'm gonna go right here. That would be a good spot. That would look good. Yeah. 
I might incorporate mine into and want, I want to get a um, sleeve. Oh. So I might incorporate it into a sleeve. No, I've no, always like wanted a memorial. To I don't know. Oh yeah? What, what'd you say? A memorial, like I like I want a part of it as Oh I know. Oh right. believe me. Lots of thinking going on in here. Uh. But everything. <laughs> I always thought I'd never get a tat, but now I'm like so, so like that, so down. We have four. I've, I've always like wanted a tat. Okay, I don't know. Oh yeah. What, what'd you say? A memorial, like I, like I want a part of it as. Oh, I know. Oh, right. believe me. Lots of thinking going on in here. Uh. But everything. Right. <laughs> I always thought I'd never get a tat, but now I'm like so, so like that, so down. We have four. You have four? Where are the other two? One across my back. A big one? Well, not huge, but big enough. That one there, little art palette, and then just that one there. Oh my God. You're in something new every day, eh? About someone? You have any tats? You have little Three. ones, yeah. One on your foot. Four. Do you have one on your foot? Yeah. What is the one on your foot? It's rubbing away, but it says seek joy. Oh, okay. I thought I saw something on it the other day. Yeah. I meant to ask you about it. Little baby ones. It's weird because I, I like it. I like the Yeah, I like difference. that it fades away. Is that weird? That's like, I like that it's not permanent. Like, I would get oh, it so I know. Finger tattoos will fade. Quick? Yeah, pretty quick. Really? You're not supposed to, like, like they tell you, like, not to wash your hands with it, or, like, if you're in the shower, like, people literally wear dish gloves, like, but they fade. I had one on my thumb and it faded in like a couple weeks. Weeks? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I had a red heart on my thumb. So when I gave a thumbs up, it was like cute. <laughs> That's crazy. I probably want like quite a few more little ones. Yeah. But I like that you can't really tell that I have any unless you catch yeah. it. Grandpa's initials. Whose initials? My grandpa, Aww. like in his writing. Then my sister and I have like, I have a T for Tess, she's an A for Austin. That's cute. She's Arabic on her ribs. I'm gonna get this one redone. Get my little nine. Yes. You're just gonna do a nine? Yeah, I think. That's kind of cute. I think it's me. For you, yeah, it is yeah. good for you. Like you have the little cute little dainty ones. I'm getting a jokes one with my bestie. A jokes one? Yeah. What is it? We're getting it kind of right there. We're getting like GF together in red. GF girlfriend? Yeah. So everyone thinks that we're a couple, so. You might have to go with it. Literally. You're out. If we weren't dating, would we have these? <laughs> right? Uh -huh. I need cups. That's what I came out here for. <laughs> so this is the downtime in the Big Brother Canva. I was like, ah. <laughs> I, man, it, I would be fine with a paper and a pen. I would be writing songs and shit, studying, journaling. 100%. Yep. Writing love notes. Ooh. I don't know if Brayden wants this in, in a cup or a bowl. <laughs> oh, Brayden, unpredictable boy. I like having like seeds and like cereal in my smoothies. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he wants. Yeah, I was doing that before. I was putting rice, crispy, rice thingies in my yogurt. Making weird stuff. Nothing wrong with that. Adds a bit of crunch exactly. to it. Exactly. Some. Nothing wrong with a bit of crunch. Nothing wrong with a bit of crunch. Love some crunch. Right. Right. You outside most of the morning? Um, not really. I no. I don't I don't I can only go out there for a short amount of time. Yes. I, I like it's weird. I, it's weird. I just can't hear for some reason. I'm never in the right clothes. I need to be drinking. Like I need a pool. Fine all the time. Yeah. Oh, I'm all floaty. I would be so down. Is Ro down here? Upstairs I don't know. still? I don't he was know. in the shower. What, what is even? everyone doing? I know. Like where is everybody? Who's outside? Anyone? No idea. I'm sure the boys. No clue. I just seen Ty. Ty's up there. <laughs> don't ask me nothing. Perfect I've been outside. Bed. Making out. <laughs> oh man. Crazy kids. What are we gonna Crazy. do about them? I don't know. I know. 
Me too. What? 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 Huh? Huh? What are you guys doing? What did you what? say? I don't know. What? Come on now. Who what now? Huh? Hey. Hey there. What are you doing? I see you. Oh, shit. I see you. <laughs> How dope was the video we got to see last week? <sighs> yeah. So, so cool, huh? So cool. I would like to see another one. I know. Even I would want to see that again. I don't even remember it. I was so like, you know? Like, it was dope. I want to see it again so bad. That video. The video was Yeah. Awesome. I wish they put it on like the TikTok wall and we could just watch oh, it. Oh, that would have been dope. The one they showed what they us. Showed us. I need that shit. That would be sick if it was a TikTok. Yeah, what you been up to or whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know, we only got one look at it. I know, my brain can't, they need more. I know. At least it was like a good one and not like, you guys are slobs. And like it shows us like picking our noses, leaving dishes out. <laughs> no. <laughs> They yeah, did that. It could have been a lot worse. They did that one season where they like farted and burped and oh my god. Oh my god. Big brother hey, hates if, your song. if they do that, you know your one going <laughs> in the defender last night is gonna be on it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I've done it a few times, unfortunately. Oh god. <laughs> Human. <laughs> Bread is in here, do we know? Or the wrong yeah. Uh I... pretty slim. Yeah, you got multi grain in it there by the toaster. Is that the only that says what? Uh, I don't know, there might be more, but I think it's like gluten free vegan bread or something. I liked the gluten free vegan bread. You tried it? Only I liked it. I didn't like it. No one else liked it. This is a different kind than that, though. This one has a bunch of seeds on it. Oh. So I don't know. Yeah, maybe not then. Like all the condo, but like with different things. It's a little salad. Like I want to do three different things with oh, it yeah. and have her try it, but I don't want her to know I'm doing it for her. Mm. That'd be fun, right? Yeah. I you look gonna... so cute, Tara. So cute. Oh, you're yeah. really cute. Love it. Love it. I'm gonna go enjoy some sun. I gotta make a sandwich. Yes. First. Oh, I think blue lines on it. What? Get what? started. Sandies, did you make sandwich? No, no I'm trying to find. There's no bread, so we're gonna might have to do a uh, hamburger bun. I think I'm gonna do like just ham, cheese, melt it in the microwave with some mustard. Sounds, sounds good. good. <laughs> sounds, sounds lit to me. I literally eat anything and everything. I'm not, not a picky eater at all. Oh, I'm gonna go lay in the back here. With a ham and cheese. I'm not picky right. at all either. There. I'll literally eat anything. Don't have one of those no, I mean like right here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a good muffin. amount of ham. Is there muffin? cheese out there? Uh, there should be yep. lots of cheese out there. Yeah. In it. I don't know who I am today. What do you mean? You look cute. Thanks. Braden Sweats. So cute. You're tiny. I need to be tiny. Yeah. Stop it. We'll nuke. We'll nuke. Literally stop. I want to be tiny. Oh, Literally stop. Beautiful. Stop beautiful, so beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> what? Is that I gotta stop eating so much? No way. I have a huge appetite. Well, I guess I, I wish I had your stomach where like you can just eat whatever and never get a bellyache. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty disgusting. I don't think it's disgusting. I don't I think, think it's so great. <laughs> I'm always so paranoid that if I eat something, it's gonna make me like crap my pants. Do you want me to grade this, or do you just want me to slice it? You can just slice right, it. Because I don't. Kind of like thin if you can. If yeah. not, it doesn't really matter. You do what I can, you know. I got the matcha. Um, did you do your laundry, baby? I do have stuff that's in the wash. I think it's got like 40 minutes left. Okay, cool. If for some reason you're in here and you have stuff, like next, okay. it can all go in the dryer. Awesome. Unless you see like a random sports bra. Okay, sports bras don't go in? It's, okay. it's not a big deal if it does. I just don't know if they what have padding in them. I think there might be like a bright pink one in okay. there. You'll okay. be able to see it. It's like neon pink. Had it, but there's still 40 minutes, so I'm good. Yeah. I should do it. Yeah, I think those. there's about 40 minutes. But everything else can just go in the dryer. It's just. Some of my sports bras have like the pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I don't know if it would make them look weird and then they look weird in the tank, you know? I and hear you. Yeah. floating around and shit. I oh, yeah. Hear okay. yeah. That. And Lord knows I need those protectives. Otherwise, I know. Could I have one here, one down here. We never know where they're going to be. Can I take some of this as you're cutting it? No, go ahead. I don't think I'm going to do mail. 
bit of mayo. Oh, in the way. No, you're not. Never. Mm. Never. Dad, are you guys eating outside? Uh, you know, I think I am going to bring it outside. I'm going to fill up my water. I'm going to throw a little apple strudel on there. Have a little treat, treat. Have a oh, little treat. Collagen. Oh, I should need mail for the other side. Do you have that with every meal or just one meal? Uh, this, yeah. I just drink it every, it doesn't matter when I take it, just at home, I'll usually do twice a day, but in here I didn't want to bring too many bottles, so yeah. I just kind of do like one larger one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like I brought three of these and that normally two sometimes would be a month, but I think it's like, I just, I'm not gonna bring six big bottles like that, you know? Oh. I hear you. Uh oh, what's that? Bowl? What do you have at the bottom though? Smoothie. Oh, but what's in cereal. your smoothie? Um, protein powder, almond milk, bunch of berries, avocado, oh, banana. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you still need that, right? I don't know where roll is. I'm just gonna grab this strudel so I could have put it away. Oh, you wait, need to be done? Bit of am. Where the hell is this boy? You're still looking at yourself? Goodness. On the hunt for Shohan. I showered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No prob. Hey now, hey. Nope, not today. I'm treat myself. I'm gonna do it. Oh, going all in today. I'm really want ginger ale. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Just a little apple. One of those little strudels, I'm gonna have that after my sandwich with a little dessert. Oh, are there any of the muffins left in there? The little uh, cup cupcakes, yep. That's what I mean. Yep. There sure is. Mm. I do the cupcake sandwich thing. Take the bottom off and eat it like a... Oh, is that what you do? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, look at that. Carbs on carbs. Happy for you. Carbs on carbs. Love a good carb. Oh, you want another thing that we can make hmm. tonight? Because I was thinking, like, with the, the tacos, we don't have a ton of ingredients. There's the turkey meat. We have rice. We could do stuffed peppers. Yeah. Mm. Keith and I have wanted to do that for a long time. Yeah. I think there was a bunch of peppers in there. We'll have to re mm -hmm. All right. Going to go enjoy the sun. Can I reach One for each of us. My team? Oh, you I'm may. Here. Thanks, Vic. Oh, good call on making the bacon. It's going to uh, help the smell in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't notice it anymore. No, I don't either.
You want outside? Oh yeah, look at him. You look great. Thank you. You look better. Wow. These old things. Good luck. Thanks. When you meet Rizan, wear this. Really? Mm -hmm. Just like straight up what I'm wearing right now? Pattern socks, white Converse? Yeah. Cool. Oh, great consistency. Yeah. It's a little uh, protein-y, but. I like it. You smell fucking great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. In the mix. Oh, yeah. The mix. You are the mix. The mix. I'm actually going to take a spoon of this. So, you're not coming outside? I probably will on a sec. Okay. See you out there. See you, you? see ya. Probably, yeah. Get some rays. All right, ladies. Doing a little something something. Crazy. What it do, what it is. Oh, man. Can't believe it's already Tuesday. How the hell? I remember when it was literally Sunday and I'm like, I'm getting antsy. Time flies. Mm -hmm. It's like fast and slow at the same time. Mm -hmm. Wild. Big brother house. Big brother house. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Imagine they hit us with like another POV. Like it's like POV comp and there was like another one. I think I'd cry in joy. <laughs> I literally went to bed. I laid down. I started crying because I'm like, I can't imagine being here without Brandon. That's sad. Yeah. It really sucks. That is sad. But at the same time, I worry that's part of the reason you guys are fucking up there. Mm. But 100%. that's friends for life. At 100%. Least. Honestly, Canada, I'm just thinking about Canada so much. Yeah. And like, they have to be stepping in soon. They have to be what? Like, they have to have a role in something soon. I know. I'm praying. Could you imagine? Girl. That'd be crazy. I just, like, don't even know. Yeah, that's fucking sad, but you know what? I'm so, ow, ch damn it. You got sprayed? Fuck. That actually killed. Fuck. Oh shit. I'm so canceled. What'd you do? I, for, I meant to put this in for literally five seconds. Oh my God, and someone just came this today too. Oh. I will clean it. What is that? Is I'm it... doing a little, oh, it's salmon. Oh. I'm doing a little like joke thing for Tina because she's never had avocado. Stop. Like, so I'm making her try it for the first time. Does she know? No, she does not. Do not tell her. I will not. I promise. She's afraid it's still fucking in there. Mm-hmm. Really new kids on the block. everyone at some point today. Yeah, campaigning is so important in this game. There has to be a secret veto. Like I bet you, I think it's out. 
Like, it has to be somewhere. I fucking hope so. <sighs> that sucks. I thought we had salad. <laughs> I have no idea how to fucking do this shit. Why are all the avocados so good? I love avocado. They've been perfect. Every single one of people have opened. I know. How's that even possible? Explain yourself. Mm -hmm. Explain yourself. Literally. Um, can you write down where you get your avocados, please? Thank you. I mean, don't, don't, don't ask what I'm doing because I have no idea. Yeah, well designed. <laughs> How are you going to disguise it? I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm literally gonna be like, bitch. Try it's now it. or never. I won't make her do a whole slice. about to go. Where did you say you had lettuce? In the fridge. Oh, nice. It's in a box. This one? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want it in a bowl or a cup? Cup, OK. I haven't tried avocado, but fuck, not on my watch. I like, oh shit. Imagine she loves it. I know, I hope she does. everything. This should be almost done. Yeah, I'm going out there and being like, girl, what's this about you not trying avocado? Pick your poison. Okay, I'll be right there. The bacon's almost done. Start talking about foods you guys haven't tried. <laughs> She'll definitely say avocado. Like, what am I missing? Like, what else goes really good with avocado? I love it with bacon. I know people like it with salad. Oh, I should put a little dressing on it. A cracker. very proteiny. So if you hate it, feel free. It's also thick. It's very proteiny? Yeah. 
It's fine. Thank you. No problem. I can't really even taste the avocado that I put in there. Yeah, I feel like it just gets masked by everything else. I think it makes it so creamy though. Yeah. You know? Thicker. Did Rel like it? Yeah. What does he like? He used it with the spoon. He was like, mmm. He's outside though. What do you want to do? I don't know. You watching your chef up? What's uh, cooking with spicy V like? Um, you know, what instead is of current looks cooking, you know? What's uh, cooking with spicy V? It's come to my attention that Miss Blue Line has not tried avocado. So I've decided to make a concoction oh. of avocado with other items that I like it with. Oh. And I'm forcing her to try it. Love. That's smart. Because I love avocado so much. Same. When she <laughs> told me that, I was like, what? I'm like, do, you, do your friends even like you? Why do you mean? It's the camera <laughs> on your food for me. Like, dead ass zooming in. Yeah, both, both. They need to know what's going on. Yeah. Spicy V. Seriously? Is it? Oh, yeah. Stop. Uh, so much. It's so humiliating. <laughs> really was the way I turned to you in fear. <laughs> I think it's going to absolutely kill me for mine. I was like, fuck, what I did you say? I loved it. Kill you. I love it. Are you going back outside, Beth? I got to eat, and I think my face is burning. Oh my god, I'm about to do something funny to Tina. You gotta come. To what, sorry? Uh, to Tina. I need to watch, too. She's what are you doing? She's never had a avocado. <gasps> so I'm making her an avocado plate and I'm forcing her to try it. Okay, I'll come for that. <laughs> really, everyone's like, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my god. Wow. Oh my god. It really is hot out high. Oh, it's like 25, I'd say. Crazy. Just crazy. I'm starving, I'm starving. Oh, pork loins, eh? <laughs> Does that tie also hates avocado? Yeah, he hates it. He's tried it and it's not gone well. Oh, you tried it like to make him eat it here? <laughs> and he wouldn't? No, have you tried? No. Oh, okay. No, no. I don't think he will. He told me a story about how he spewed at his grandparents. Yeah. Did he tell I you that like, story? What? Oh. <coughs> I will be eating you. <coughs> so wait, what do, what do you have on this plate? Bacon, turkey, tomatoes, a little bit of salmon. Wow. Cheese crackers. Like, should I mash it up so like some some's guacamole or nah? She can just grab it. No, I say just let her grab just it. Just let her try. She's a texture it. person, so she might not like it mush. Very smart. Drop it on the floor. You are too cute, Vic. Literally adorable. I can just see your kids one day being like, "Mom, I hate this," and you're like, "You make them a platter." <laughs> are you sure? You're like, are you sure you hate it? Try it in seven different ways. <laughs> Because it was so hard for me as a parent, like, if your kid doesn't like something that you literally love. Oh my god. Like, but it's so good. I literally might just put these for show. Why not? You are the cutest. Uh, <laughs> just for show. So I was spinning my head right now. All of the song can is blowing me back out to tracks are in my head today, for whatever reason. And with what I will have for my late lunch. What, avocado? Avocado toast. Mm. And I'll do my honey and chili peppers. Mm. And then for dinner, any requests? I don't know. I, actually I think don't... keep making tacos for everyone. I'm actually scared. I'm with tacos? Yeah. Hey, there's one big in there. What is that? For the gorilla. Oh. Oh, I didn't know we had that. I would have put it in my smoothie. I don't know. That's really good yogurt. There's water balls in there. Oh, shit. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Dominique. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very low. 
option. Slim pickings. All right. Yeah. It's for Tina. She's sandwich. never had avocado. She has no idea. I'm making her try it. I love oh. it with bacon, like, you know. Oh, my God. Look at it's for Tina, because she's never tried av avocado. Watch her be like, no. Huh? <laughs> Watch her be like, ew, no. No, no, she said she wants to oh, try it. okay. She wants to try it. That's hilarious. I know, come be an audience. She wants, she'll love to see people there. I know you guys have been out there for like an hour. Or like five. Nice spread. <laughs> or like that five. That is a good spread. Oh, I know, I hope she doesn't eat it all so I can eat it. Stop, she's like, it's gross. She's like, okay, perfect. Mine just starts like you. shoveling it into her mouth, like tipping the plate down. It's like, I don't think you like it that much. Yeah. You don't have to lie, it's okay. It's okay, I'll eat it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ooh. Smells weird. I'm scared of the juice. Oh, is it very rotten? That's delicious. Yeah. Ooh, can I steal a slice of one of those? What's that for? I need to cut a small color for my food. Oh no, just one. <laughs> oh. Thanks, baby. Yep. Are you gonna come watch or are you gonna stay here? And see. Um, I'll go out. I'll go out. This joke. The madness. I'm pretty sure it's pie. Oh, same. Is it fun? Is what? Oh, me. What I first thought immediately. The cuff. Hmm? Not near me. Is that a stink bug? Ew, I hate you. Me. <laughs> like, goodbye. Call out. But yeah. I would say I'm 102%. Why is that immediately what I thought, too? I would say I'm 102% sure. I me. <laughs> I think after this, we go to the ball pit and search. Just yeah, in case. I agree. Oh! I bring that's con, that's con. She likes it? She ate it like on a cracker with cheese and bacon though. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd like shit. <laughs> I'd like shit if I was, oh. Oh, wow. Pan. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Goodness. Watch out. Um, okay, what should I put on this thing? Are you making a wrap? Yeah, it's kind of weird, but. Like a tortilla? Let me think. Oh. 
Where's Ty? Tomatoes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I try to fight it. I forgot that was in there. I thought you were avoiding it. Um. <laughs> Why is this in the fridge? Who's TGP? Tara. Tara? Yeah. Ty's napping somewhere, he must be. Yeah, he has to be. Everyone's outside. It, everyone? Were these frozen? Did you have them from the freezer? They were out, but I think they were defrosting. I'll put them in for a second. They were out, though. Mm. Where's Bray and Austin? They're out there. Oh, they are now? Yep. Yeah. Everyone's outside. Oh. Everyone. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoa. Relax. Tony Avo? Yes, please. Yeah. 100%. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay. Put it on. Oh, okay, okay. Boom. Always gonna be though, that's the question. What say to me? What's your sauce of choice gonna be? Reply. I think I burned. <laughs> oh, so you're not gonna answer? Oh, I honestly am not listening to you. <laughs> What did you say? What's your sauce of choice going to be? Oh, Tzatziki. <laughs> I was like... Tzatziki. <laughs> I asked a question, she's like, hmm. I was not listening nice. to you, I'm sorry. Okay, cool. <laughs> tzatziki. Okay, you have to like Tzatziki. Fuck, he doesn't like Tzatziki. What? It's not that Fuck. good. You don't have it. What's in it? Isn't it cucumbers or something? Cucumbers and Greek yogurt. Oh, yeah. I actually do like that. Like, like don't you love going for Greek food? That what? could be my favorite thing ever. Yeah, I like putting on souvlaki. Oh, baby. That's a good thing. I think this is, yeah, that's good. This is good. This is good. I'm gonna just eat this and go back out. Yeah, I'm not gonna go outside with it. Pardon me? I'm just gonna eat it in here. Oh, no, yeah. But I don't wanna be inside today. I don't like eating in the sun. Maybe she has in DR. Maybe. That's something I can't wait to talk about. What? Yeah. DR. Yeah. So many things we have to talk about when we leave. <sighs> Canada is watching. Stuff that you can't just you won't just see. On the shelf? You don't think? Um, or like other stuff? All of the above. Mm. 
all the above. Yeah, it's kind of wet. No filter. Oh, not at all. I feel like this is you, though. Hmm? I feel like this is you, though. Yeah, this is me. But obviously, there's things I can't talk about. This is my personality, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay with it? It is. Mm -hmm. Cool dude. <laughs> Cool dude, totally. Did you doubt it? I said totally. Totally. <laughs> totally. Oh, buddy. Crazy girl. Crazy girl. <laughs> you think I'm crazy? Yeah. In a good way. Not out of control. No. Never that. <laughs> Just enough, though. Keep things fun. You gotta be fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't be too put together. Oh, it's, no. no, thank you. Granola. Oh. Okay. Downed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So much bacon. So much what? So much bacon in oh, there. Oh, I know. <laughs> Too much bacon. What's one thing you've been consuming here that you would never consume at home? Hot dogs. <laughs> Tons of things, actually. Hot dogs for sure. Um, Fucking tea. Or just tea? like the, Or like, yeah, frequency of the... <laughs> Holy shit, tea for sure. Yeah, I've never drank this much tea in my life. Like, I like tea, I just don't make it. Yeah, me neither. And like, I have a Keurig, so I'll just make one coffee, that's it, in the morning, that's all I'll drink. Sam. Okay, I'll let you. Yeah. Thank you. What else? That's a good question. Mm. Cereal. Yeah. Cookies. Cookies. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. I don't eat cookies. I never eat cookies at all. I do not buy cookies. I'm not even the biggest fan of cookies. Oh, yeah, I know. If I eat them, it'll be like, it's like with my nieces and nephews. Yeah, they're just like available here. So you just eat them. You just grab one. No reason. Hot dogs for sure. Yeah, hot dogs are no no. What about you? Tea and I would literally never eat a hot dog outside of here. Um, no, again, <laughs> only if it's at like a function. Yeah, like ever. Yeah. Um, what else? Honestly, though, I think a good thing is like the constant like fruits and vegetables you're accessible to. Mm -hmm. like, you know, like the real, like it's not realistic in real life to have blueberries all the time. All the time. Like sometimes they're really expensive and I'm not gonna buy them. Exactly. If they're out of season? Mm-hmm. Where did this cutting board possibly be? Oh, the one? white one? Yeah. Like, it's only so many places. <laughs> this one?
So it's weird. Where is it? <laughs> Put it in the fucking fridge or something. <laughs> Something's on it. 100%. Like, guaranteed. 100% it is. <laughs> uh, you think, you, you see yourself as more as like a, like three square meals or like multiple snacks per day mm. kind of thing? Mm. It's pretty weird with my job now. I'd say more snacky. Snackies. My job is like too busy. Like I can't. I don't have a second to eat. Um, and I feel absolutely disgusting at work. Why? It's just so dirty. It's just such a dirty job that oh. I don't. Like I'm in the grossest houses you've ever seen. So you're on the road, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're driving around all the time. All of us. All day. But I get paid for kilometers, so. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I drive all day. And now since COVID started, like. I can't take clients anywhere because they can't come in my car. Right. So how does that work? So I just have to meet them at their house or like they have to get on the bus and meet me at like the registry or something. So what are you, what are you going there to do? In their homes? Yeah. So I have to check out their houses once, at least once every, thir every 30 days. Make sure it's like these, some of these people have lived on the street for 30 years. They have no idea how to use a vacuum. Oh, so to make sure their houses are like livable? Yeah, and then obviously sometimes they bring other people in there to live with them, like that. Um, government of Alberta yeah. pays for just over half. Okay. And then they pay the rest. So they have a job at this point? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Not when they get, they pay it with welfare. Oh, I gotcha. But welfare is like, like I have one guy who makes $450 a month. So people complain about it and stuff, but it's like, people aren't getting enough money. Like, right. what would I do with $400 a month? Right. Um, but the ultimate goal by the end of the year is that they have a job, they understand how to pay power bills. Right. They have a home phone. Even if it's just bottle picking. Some of them will just choose to bottle pick. Yeah. And it works for them. But other people get jobs. But since COVID started, it's so hard. It's so hard. Is there a... Um I guess like a grace period, hmm. per se. Like, you have one year to like kind of get on your feet. We or say else, by or else you're by out. the eleventh month, you're paying your rent in full. Right. And then like, if they get a job, like, let's say at, like month six, we'll like cut back our services a little bit. Oh, okay. So like, okay, now I'm only gonna pay two hundred dollars of your rent, and you're gonna pay seven hundred. Right. What's the follow up like with you? For That's that the worst part. part. Yeah. So like. It's not like they have to graduate at 12 months, mm -hmm. but that's the goal. Some of them do, do really good. Like I had a guy graduate at nine months. He was doing wonderful. Mm -hmm. But if, if they're almost there, we'll hold on to them. Oh. Like you can just drop people, but there's no follow up and that's like the worst part. So like, like landlords can, can call me for three months after and ask for support, but like I can't like physically go and help them. Oh, that's tough. So a lot of them, but I mean, you have these conversations for 12 months straight with them. Like you, I'm out of your life in 12 months. You know what I mean? So do a lot of landlords, once, once that time has been met and you can't do anything about it, do they just like evict them? Well, not everyone, but. Not everyone, but like that's a possibility, mm -hmm. right? Right. And I say that, like don't feel bad. If they're not behaving, evict them. Yeah, it's just like any other mm -hmm. tenant, right? Mm -hmm. They still have all the rules. So you just deal with like housing? Housing, and I get them licenses, I get yeah. them IDs, birth certificates. I deal with their welfare, so like, their money's not coming through. Yeah. Like I call the government and like see what's going on. Lots of advocating because nobody listens to them. Lots of them are indigenous. So you must form like personal connections with these people. Oh my God. And then have it just kind of cut off, right? Mm-hmm. That must be kind of hard. Leaving for this, I had three guys at nine months. Yeah. And they were almost there, and I've had them for a full year. Yeah. Um, and it was pretty emotional. Yeah. Like, being yeah. like, I have to go, and like, I couldn't tell them why, and they, they thought I was going on stress leave, and I'm like, no, no, that's not you guys. That's tough. And we get up to 20 of them. I mean, you don't build a relationship with everybody, just like normal life, but these three guys in specific, like, even they were like, you changed my life, like, it's so crazy. 
And I wanted to watch them graduate and stuff, right? Right. But it's like, it's like you're almost like you're, you're kids in a sense. Mm -hmm. It's like being a teacher watching. But I have really good boundaries. Really good boundaries. Yeah, like you don't let it get too close. Not too close. <laughs> like they are not allowed to call me after four. Oh, okay. You were not allowed to call me on the weekend. Do they typically have phones and stuff? Or no? Uh, home phones. Like I would set them up with a home phone. Yeah. Some of them have cell phones, but they're just like really shitty. Yeah. Some meaningful work, Bethel. What's that? So that is some meaningful work. Mm. Why not, Phil? So. What up? Yeah, those outside? Huh? Are these outside? Yeah, I'm ready to go out. Oh, nice. You guys see a big shit on me? Yeah, it's the best. Like her tits? Oh. Yeah, it's <laughs> Sunset Bar. Oh yeah, I cried, bro. Cause yeah. she came down and she was like, she was like, oh, this used to say Sunset Vibes, but now it just says Inset Vibes or something like that. Yep. And I was like, ah, that is hilarious. Funny. That is funny. <laughs> There's so many shirts like that I wasn't allowed to bring. It's not even a brand. Yeah. Same. Right? Yeah. I, I was saying to you, I had a shirt that said Drink Water, Save Tequila. Yeah. Not allowed to I almost it. didn't even get my uh, pizza shirt. Oh really? Yeah, I had to fight for Thank it. Thank you, Dad. Oh, really? That's nothing. Yeah, what's that for? Did you say your your, your son has the other one? Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> a little slice. Yeah. A little slice. Yeah, we wore it at his first birthday party. It was dope. That is dope. It was dope. Where's Tashan? I have no clue. Wait, no, 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 you might be From season nine. Season nine. Nobody's really asked me about it. No, I'm actually very uh, intrigued by that. And I think it's actually like extremely important. So, because I always did, I always did wonder about like you know, because a lot of people say like the, like the, obviously the homelessness is increasing at such a large rate. So it's like, what are we doing to combat that? And you never really know, because to me it just looks like people just give up on them, right? Oh yeah. So when you hear that people like you working in the middle, at least it, it's like nice to know that people are actually caring about them, and mm -hmm. especially living in Vancouver, like there's oh like, the homeless population was insane. Because it's so warm. And I was like, what is happening? Like, who is helping these people? You know? And then it's like billions of billions of dollars each year to rent a shelter. Yeah. It is so much cheaper to subsidize their rent. Yeah. It's so much cheaper. Absolutely. It honestly is the answer. It's literally like. <laughs> Give a man a fish, he eats for a night. Teach him how to fish, he eats for the rest of his life. You know what kidding. I mean? That's like so cliche, but it's so it's true so though. True. Yeah, you can help them one off, but why not just set them up to help themselves? Uh huh. You know? I'm like, it's never just one chance. When people come through like maybe three times, and then like the third time they yeah, you know, yeah. And that's fine. I just get that like, obviously it takes a certain person not to give up on somebody. You know, it's so easy for people to just write write people off. But They're not easy. Yeah, can't be easy. No, and then when you get mental health involved, and you get addiction involved, and you get domestic violence, like it's not easy. Yep. But I love chaos. Yeah, your patience must be out the. Huh? huh? Your patience must be through the roof. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes I yell. I guess you're getting a little stern, Bethel. Mm -hmm. Can't yell too much, because then when you actually do, they're like, oh, shit. Yeah. She's just a cute little girl. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. But, I don't know. So many people have just, like, have workers their whole lives, like, the way that V talks. Like, she's had so many workers. Nobody means anything to her, you know? Yep. So, I always different, like, when I write my essays and stuff, like, I always say, like, I don't agree with like textbooks and stuff that like, yeah, boundaries are obviously important, but like I am gonna build like a genuine relationship with these people. Mm. They like it. Yeah. They want you to be real, you know? Yeah. After a year, sure, go for it. If like we actually had a relationship after a whole year of being apart, I say it's fine, like 
You can add me on Facebook if you want. And then it's up to me if I right. want to accept. Because they are like dope people. Some people I decline, but. Yeah. But you think about how you want to be treated by someone like someone in, in that, in that um, like not role. Like authoritative. Yeah, yeah, someone in that role, you know? Mm -hmm. You can tell when someone's being genuine and someone just sees you as like a number, right? And it makes 100%. You, it makes you feel so much different. And it already makes me feel gross half the time because I think, I think I've said this to people before, like one of my clients will be indigenous or I have a black client who you can barely understand Yeah. and he will go to the registry. Shocking. Oh, you bridging gaps. <laughs> bridging gaps. Bridging gaps. Oh, yeah. I do what I can. We like those. It was a good presentation too. Like it looked delicious. Yes. You cannot tell me you're wearing that out there. I was cold. It's <laughs> crazy out there. It's kind of overcast, you know. It's 30 degrees. It's overcasty. What was it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not as sunny. It's like not really that sunny anymore. Well, she is. Well, she is. Yeah, it's definitely past midday. Or wait. Uh, big time. It's like 2, 3 o'clock now. Ish. It is not 3 o'clock either. What time? Later? Is? What's it say on the stove? 322. I'm just going to clap and be right back. Damn. Sorry. What do you think it is, Vicky? Okay. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Here, leave it there. Like later, B? Vicky. What? You like that name? What name? Vicky. Oh! <laughs> my friends used to call me that when I was like in elementary school, but it just, uh, as I got older, it I didn't just. Know gonna... <laughs> Please. What time do you think it is? It's day two. Smash I think it's like the only way I didn't get out of this place. Oh. Smash. I'm not moving. When you do that, I'll just be like, Big Brother, <laughs> I got this taken care of. <laughs> Or like just two, yeah. Smash it out of the bottles and Since day, day one. <laughs> just no, really? two. Just smash it out of the bottles. Please. <laughs> what happened that we already wanted to be knocked out? I don't know, something embarrassing happened. No food? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just some Kodak Black, just fucking bomb oh. after bomb. Shut up. <laughs> All the brands. Valencia. What you what you getting? Well, they didn't like it, they were making redo it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Vic, we're going to have to evict you again. To me, that would be so humiliating, <laughs> having to walk back down. Yo. Everyone that's left has done something iconic so far. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. So, like, can you actually come back down the It's actually been a one take one every time. So I'd be like, no, that's it. Yeah, I'm like, no, open the door. <laughs> Vic, we can't show your titties on live television. Yeah, literally. Rips the door. Ah! Kicks it down. <laughs> runs out the emergency exit. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Imagine yeah. you just run out the emergency exit instead. I could not. <laughs> like, I'm out. <laughs> Catch me if you can, bitches. Oh. <laughs> oh God, we're. Yeah, you're leaving anyways. Why don't you pick a different exit? Yeah, you might as well. I know. I don't want to see Arissa. <laughs> well, she. Oh, well, Find out Arissa was the HR. <laughs> yes, I'm not that. Talk to her. Okay, the best remix. Could you imagine? Not get. <laughs>